Ada for telling my future Estelle she is reason no one in the family likes her. So, I-26F, have a brother 29M, he is dating a girl 29F, let's call her Ash. So my brother and I were raised in a very traditional Indian family. Our parents religiously followed old traditions, some of which I would never follow myself. That said, they never really expected us to follow any of them if we didn't want to. So during the pandemic I lost my dad, it was a very hard time for all of us especially my mom. To honor his memory my mom decided to only wear white saris. Something widows were expected to do in the 20th century, it is very extreme. I see that but honestly it gives her peace and I try my best to support that. So recently my brother proposed to his GF and they have been planned to get married in April. Now Ash is Christian and plans to have a have a Christian wedding and we were pretty excited to experience a new style of wedding. But it went south when Ash expressed her concern for my mom's sorry. Basically, she doesn't want her to wear white. And my mom was pretty adamant that she would rather miss the ceremony than do that. This turned into an argument. I didn't hear it, but that's what my brother told me. This was last week, and this past week almost in our family decided they'd rather not go because of how Ash treated my mom. This really pissed off Ash, and she now blames mom for ruining her wedding, and I kind of blurted out maybe it's her fault that no one in the family likes her. I really regret saying that, especially because I think it wasn't my place. And maybe I just made things hard for my brother who was trying to find a middle ground between them. For some context, along with the plain white sari my mom wears no jewelry no makeup, only wears wooden sandal, and she is dressed like that for almost four years now. Edit. There's a lot of discussion on what the religion actually says and for that I have to say we aren't religious scholars just normal people so our traditions are what we have been taught by our parents and grandparents. That holds true for my mom too who is trying her best to follow the traditions she was taught. And she took a vow to follow the widow life after dad's death and even though I may not understand that I cannot ask her to break the vow. Especially because she has always supported us in our decisions in life. She fully supported me when I came out as bi. Edit 2. Just to be clear mom isn't boycotting the wedding just not going to the main ceremony and will show up for the reception where Ash is wearing Indian, a red langa. Update. So this morning Ash and my brother showed up to mom's home, where they talked for a while. Ash apologized for saying my mom ruined her wedding and asked her to show up however she wants because she'd rather not have my brother get married without his parents. My mom also gave her these big gold bracelets slash bangles her M.I.L., my dad's mom, had given her before her wedding, which according to my brother made her feel very special. After all this I talked it out with Ash, we seem to be fine, only time will tell. NTA who acts like this when invited into a family with different traditions. I think it is awesome your family is rallying around your mom. Ash sounds really unpleasant. On the flip side, Ash is inviting them into fear family with different traditions. Yes, and ideally compromises will be made. Meeting in the middle and figuring out how to make things work should be a mandatory lesson before marriage. I will start this by saying I am a big Miss Manners fan, especially on wedding etiquette and formal wear. Anyone else's wedding is not the place to showboat in a fancy bridal adjacent gown, let alone a white one. That said, this current anti-white at weddings thing is going far, far too far to the other side. The key is bridal adjacent. A grieving widow in her cultural equivalent of widow's weeds is not in any way mistakable for a bride, let alone that a white sari does not conflict with the attire of a traditional Indian bride, where red is the choice, nor does a sari look like a western wedding gown where the white could conflict. The bride is either being a little bridezilla, or they have let far too much social media nonsense seep into their head for their big day. Either way, she needs a reality check. Wearing your bridal gown to another's wedding? Not okay. Wearing a glitzy, fancy, pale ball gown to a wedding? Not okay. Wearing your widow's weeds, or a white corporate shirt and a pantsuit? Come on, bridezilla, come your tatas. Most venues have white tablecloths, curtains, drapes, blah blah by default, are they ruining your big day too? Yes, but it's not that hard to accommodate mill wearing white. I think changing the bride's dress to a different color would be easier than telling your new M.I.L., hey, it sucks your husband died and all, but you can't mourn him at my wedding. Edit, because apparently no one reads any further when they could get on a high horse and lecture me. The bride is within her rights to insist, but she has to accept that her new M.I.L. is going to be hurt and insulted. She can choose which hill to die on. If this is it for her, fine, but she's got to realize it's M.L.'s as well. I mean, the whole don't wear white thing is because you don't want to upstage the bride. 
An older Indian woman wearing a plain white sari, wooden sandals, and absolutely no makeup and plain hair is never going to be mistaken for nor claimed of upstaging a white woman is an extravagant white dress and veil. An exception to the rule can easily be made here, and while there may be a few, oh weird, comments, unless these are the sort of uncultured Americans, which I find hard to believe if she's marrying an Indian man, they're likely going to realize it's a cultural thing they don't understand. And grieving mom here is not just now suddenly choosing to wear white to a wedding, but she due to her culture, widowhood, etc. has been wearing white daily for years and cannot possibly upstage a healthy, happy bride in her beautiful wedding dress. I am concerned that ash and culture clash will rip apart this poor family. And many people always talk as if all religions' cultures are always good, harmless, etc. And that is just so not true. Every culture, religion, country, racial group contains a mixture of both good and bad. In TA, as an Indian, my grandmother also wears white and no one has ever asked her to change. Even during weddings, she wears white saris and no one tells her anything. Ash has no idea how sad it feels to be a widow. Your mother wears a white sari to not only signify her husband's death, but also because she probably finds it hard to move on from his death. Maybe wearing a white sari makes her feel closer to him. I think people like Ash who get married to someone from a different religion should be more accommodating. Info has Ash been accepted and liked except for this one issue? You don't say anything about how well she was liked up to this point. So is your whole family hating her because she wants to follow her tradition just for her wedding? Because your mother can't, after four years, do one single day of color in her wardrobe for her son's wedding? It doesn't even have to be a garish color, does it? Maybe even a shawl or belt or something? Are you honoring your mother's sorrow? or letting her wallow in it. I don't mean that as a snide remark, but honest question. You said yourself that it's a very old tradition that even those devout don't do anymore. Except for your mother. Is she doing well outside the clothing, or is she stuck in mourning? I could see the clothing in general being okay, until it gets to this kind of point of causing a whole family to choose her, again, for year old, mourning over one day to celebrate her son and future DL. If Ash is always causing this type of issue, then maybe it's just one more crap thing in your family's mind, on top of other things. That would be more understandable. Also, how is your mother in general? Is she one-to-one -one attention? Has she done other things to get between her son and his SOS? Or Ash in particular? Is she using her morning to do this? Or is she great and has been great to Ash and just wants this one thing? I don't think there's nearly enough information here to make a judgment. Oh, please. I know a lot of Americans would love to talk how quaint or cool or whatever it is that you guys follow some deep-rooted traditions or whatever. I am Indian, and I did actually grow up in India before moving to United States. There are clear exceptions to these situations. You can wear lighter different color clothes for special occasions especially one so important. and why would you ask someone to give up their cultural values for the one day that they ask, for something your family has been doing every day for four years? She's trying to be part of your family and she is asking for one day PF consideration from your mom for her son's wedding and she won't budge for even that. Respect goes both ways and like come the fuck on it's been four years. I don't know your dad but the right thing to do to honor the dead is to move on but remember them in spirit. You are in America. You don't have to give up your whole identity but following a tradition that a lot of Indians even don't give a flying fuck about is wild to me.